Hello, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. The Bible title is Joseph the Dreamer. Jacob was one of the wildest men in Canaanite. He had a vast herd of cattle, sheep, goat, camel, and donkeys. And he owned many tents filled with prisoners. However, the king, I think, the thing he held most dear was Joseph. His eleventh son, Joseph, mother was Jacob. True love, Rachel, the complete hand. Waited for many years before God sent them a child. So long that Jacob had ten sons by three other wives by then. So Joseph was very special. Unfortunately, Jacob met, the, met it above that Joseph was the for favorite he sometimes kept Joseph at home with his wife. His other sons went into field on farming the stead. Of course, this made Joseph's brother's son real resentful of their brother, even more so than when Joseph turned 17. Jacob had an express coat made for him. It was a this is a quote for Joseph. Beautiful long clothes with a big several ritually. Swan with many different colors in the drove. Jacob other sons wailed with jealous the steam went from bad to worse. <clears throat> when Joseph began to have strange dreams Gus, what? he asked his brother one morning. Last night, I dreamed that we are in the fields and harvest time trying to weed into sheaves. When my <coughs> chef stood up, Strange that your shaves gathered around it and below na me. Who do you think you are? <coughs> Spat one of the brother. <coughs> Sorry, I have a little cough. 
Do you see yourself as better than us? Qualod other. <clears throat> Do not think you are going to be a king and rule over us. Scold Astrid. <clears throat> a little while later, Joseph had another old dream. <clears throat> and again made the mistake of telling his brother about it. I dreamed it last night that I saw the sun and the moon and the eleven stars are bowing down to me. The brothers knew that Joseph meant that their father, mother, and the eleven of the the <clears throat> them were like his servants. How foreignness there! One day, one day when Joseph had kept Jos kept Joseph at home with him and sent his other sons out to work. He decided to send Joseph to check one on them. Out in the hot field, the they the tried fear steep boys saw him coming, fresh from home, and dressed up in a fan kick. Cold and they had a trouble idea. Here comes the dreamer, one of them. <clears throat> we have many pages left. Yes, many pages we left. Left it. I wish we could get rid of him once and for all. Well, this is our trains other notice. There's no one around it. The perfect opportunity. Tin and third brother agreed. Let's kill him and throw the boy into that pip over there. Another brother agreed. We could tell our father that he was attacked by wild animals and let suggest. Stop! It cried the old eldest brother. Reuben hurried, horrified. We can't kill Joseph. Do you really want to want his blood on your hands? He pointed out. If you must throw him into that old dry well over there and leave him but don't remember mother him little did the brother know that once they did do all gone home Ruben intended to sneak off back to the well and rescue Joseph and that's what the brothers did they fell on Joseph ripping of his special coat and um, lowered him out into the dried well
taking away the rope pleased with themselves the brother in north joseph cried cries for help and sat down to eat all oh, expect Reuben except Reuben he didn't feel like joining them the stomped off on his own to see the uh, to see to the animals in the farthest pastures while Ruben was gone a camel train of special traders came passing by on their way to Egypt one of the brothers Jota had another awful idea. Ruben was right. He should we shouldn't harm Joseph. He is our flesh and blood after all. He announced with a jill Leon in his eye. I have a better plan. We will sell him instead. I am sure that travelers will pay a good price for a slave. By the time Reuben returned, Joppa and the brother had escaped. 20 pieces of silver from the travelers and Joseph was gone what have you done Reuben cried shame on you Joda shame on you all now what are you going to tell father in this pure Till the brother came up with a thin part of their weak plan. They killed a young goat. The pit Joseph turned cold and its blood and took it home to show their father. Joseph was killed and eaten by the wild animals, they explained to Jacob. The old man cosped and sure, weeping a mourning of his beloved Joseph. I will give my son until he did. They, I die. I should. Yes, this is finish of the story. Next time I will read a slave in Egypt. I think Joseph will will be fine because God is with him. Yes, today I read the story Bible story. Next time I will read a slave in Egypt. Um, God will always protect Joseph, I think, because Joseph, Joseph loved God, and the brothers are not good a little bit because they have sown Joseph the brother. Right? We should not do that. And they have even told the lie to his father 
we should not say a lie and we should not do like bad things. Yes, today I read the Bible story. It was fun. Then bye.